Hey there guys, it's Arava here, bringing the 29th episode of my F1 2012 career. Today we're at Singapore for the race, and uh, maybe I can get a like straight away from you guys for a double upload today for this weekend. This, today, Saturday, and tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be uploading two videos a day just for this weekend because I'm just feeling a bit nice and a bit generous, and also I, I'm just itching to bring you guys some videos. So, uh, as I said, we're at Singapore, and we're going to uh, go on, obviously, options because that's where we qualified qualified in 10th, uh, go check out the qualifying video, um, it wasn't uh, an amazingly exciting uh, qualifying, but I did talk about some uh, really good issues about the game in general, and a few bugs that have been happening to other people, so go check that out if you're interested, and uh, I need to say, if you're new to me, new to my uh, content, please go click my name above the video, go check out my previous content, I upload weekly F1 2012 content, but for this week I've been uploading daily, because I'm on holiday right now from school, um, but yeah, I do weekly com uh, commentaries on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday usually. So here is Sebastian Vettel, my rival, Schumacher, my teammate who's right ahead of me on the grid, and here I am in a dismal 10th, really disappointed, rained in Q3, really ruined my qualifying, but uh, it was sort of my fault. So we're getting underway here, so just about ready, five lights, and we're off, Paul the rest on our right, we're getting an okay start, getting bogged down a tiny bit, using our curves now to counteract that. But still, people are overtaking us. Perez has overtaken us. Raikkonen is right behind me. Maldonado as well. And I'm getting caught behind Terresti. He's really slow here. Raikkonen's taking me, taking me as well. Hulkenberg there is looking up. And Massa, I see on the left as well. And, oh, I'm being squeezed out by Terresta and Massa. They're side by side. And I'm being squeezed out here. Oh, God, it's very tight. Oh, I've hit Terresta. Oh, God, I've hit someone else at the back. Got really tight there, Massa was squeezing me right and right, and I just hit Deresta, didn't really look at him, and then he sort of kind of went into the barrier, and then, as I turned left, I hit someone else's front wing. We haven't got a penalty for that, I really do think that was Massa's fault. Squeezed us, squeezed us right, didn't give us enough room, and Massa's made a mistake, oh god! What is Massa doing? He made a mistake, and he just cut back too early. If you're making a mistake like that, you should be staying out there, letting someone overtake you. I'm not letting, letting them, but, you know... You, you should have a common courtesy not to just come straight back on the track. So, coming through, it's been quite an exciting first lap here, looking at Massa still. And it's a big, long train. This is Singapore street circuit. It's very hard to overtake here. There are a few places, but I've gone off there. But I've kept the place to Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg, very slow in that sector. So, looking at Massa still, it's going to be a long race, I'm guessing. It's uh, we're down in 12th. We've already lost two places from our grid. So uh, we're going to have to make it a monster race if we're going to try and overtake Sebastian Vettel, our rival. Uh, in the last race, uh, the Italian Grand Prix, I did so successfully, but we've got to beat him three times to try and get a contract at Red Bull. So uh, if we're going to do it this race and get a second uh, victory under our belts in terms of uh, rivalry, we're going to have to really make it a good race. So still looking at Massa, this big train, obviously it's a street circuit as I said, it's very difficult to overtake. Obviously in a game it's a bit easier than in real life and there should be a few opportunities. And uh, hopefully ZRS should, uh, you know, ha lend a helping hand. So uh, uh, going back to what I was saying at the very beginning of the video, so I uh, hope you guys um, appreciate that I'm doing this double upload thing. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys are getting these videos, really hope so. Uh, the sub box has been so rubbish on YouTube lately. And that is really, it's not only affecting small channels like mine, it's affecting quite big channels, like, you know, some big, like, Call of Duty channels, like, you know, the FIFA channels, it's affecting all of them because the sub box is so bad. And as I'm talking, I overtook Raikkonen round the outside of that corner, trying to take Perez, didn't really work. DRS obviously not available yet because it's only lap two. But Perez, can I take him in the breaking zone, go down the inside? And I made that pass stick. Nice. And now we're up to ninth in a matter of about three corners there. So very nice. Now we're looking at my teammate Schumacher, who's eighth. So going back, yeah, the sub box has been really rubbish. So I hope you guys are getting this videos, uh, these videos. And uh, tomorrow I'll be uploading uh, two videos again, which will be the J Japanese Grand Prix, I think it is. Yep, the Japanese Grand Prix qualifying and the race. So uh, stick around for that. Stay tuned. And please don't go um, looking at your sub box on, YouTube, on the YouTube homepage. Please, guys, go click the actual subscriptions tab. Um, you know, when you click your channel name in the top right and go check out the actual subscriptions page because that doesn't have any faults in it. It's only the main homepage sub box that's been really bad. Now going around the outside Schumacher, giving him some room here. He's my teammate. I need to give him some room. Can't be as ex as aggressive as I want to. Having to give him some room here. So, still looking at Schumacher. Oh, sliding there on the rears a bit. 
So just having another look there, but we can't overtake in this section. This is a very tight section. Only room for basically one car into these corners. And we got just having the feather throttle a bit. Those are uh, curbs. Those rounded curbs are very easy. It's very easy to go off and spin. And down the straight, cursing it, and it's lap three now. And uh, DRS enable now. We're very much behind Schumacher. Should be in the DRS point. And oh god, Vettel is winning the race. That is really bad. Vettel's winning the race, our rival is winning the race, that is very bad. I'm basically going to have to make a miracle you know, sort of race if I'm to beat him. I'm going to have to try and win this race if he's in first right now. So, uh, fingers crossed. So, uh, DRS now, half the curves, getting some sort of slipstream, but Schumacher's car is very fast as well. Obviously, same car, but I've got DRS and I've made that pass move. Bit, bit of a scruffy move. He did kind of swivel around and kind of hit his rear tyre, but no penalty given. So we're coming through now, Grosjean is hustling, harrying, I think that's uh, Kobayashi there in the Sauber. Very uh, good race for uh, Kobayashi there, up into 6th place. So Grosjean's looking at him, and I'm hopefully going to creep up on them, and hopefully take both of them. Coming through this nice section, I really like this section. It's very tricky, but it's also a very nice section to drive. Coming up through to the small hairpin. And now, a bit of curves, and we're going to try and slipstream Grosjean here. Not really getting too much of a toe. We're going to try around the outside. Late break, and we're getting right up to him on his rear tyre. Having to wait for him to go around the corner, really. Don't know really why he's... Uh, he might be struggling with his tyres, maybe, if he's trying to kind of feather his way through the corners. But I'm really wanting to take him. I've got much more grip than him. The Frenchman. Don't want to be too aggressive, though. We know how Grosjean is. <laughs> but uh, obviously, they haven't got that in the game, really. I don't think they could do that. I don't think it would be a very pleasurable racing experience if you just got random people like Grosjean just crashing everyone out in the first lap of every random, like, ev like they could make an algorithm for it or something like that. It would be sort of a bit annoying. You know, you can't get too realistic with these games because uh, you will get pissed off. I mean, even though in real life it's like, whoa, amazing, oh my god, that's going to affect the championship so much. But in, in a game, you're going to get really pissed off if it ruins your race because you're kind of just like, oh, I want to win every race. Which I have done in 2011. In 2011, I remember I did a season with Red Bull. Sebastian Vettel was my teammate. He basically was uh, outshone. I won every single race. It was an expert difficulty, I must add. And, uh, you know, I, I must say, if I do say so myself, I thought it was some really good driving. Won every single race, 450 points on the board. Uh, it was a really great career mode, that one. And that was sort of getting towards the end of uh, having fun on 2011. After that season, I kind of, I, I had done it all. I had done everything. I had a dominating season. I had exciting races and stuff like that. So that's when I sort of got bored of 2011. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 2012 it's a bit of a weird one I don't think I don't I don't know you, you never know it's it's possible to get a domin dominating a uh, season like that um, you know possibly maybe um, you know maybe in the third season or the fourth season I definitely don't see it happening in the second season next season um, the one I show you guys I don't think we'll be able to dominate there definitely not um, well first off we have to get a red bull drive to even tr consider trying to get a lot of wins so we've taken Grosjean there kind of uh, barge him out of the way a bit a bit unfair of me but um I have to get through, I have to try and win this race really. I know it's weird saying I'm right now 7th and quite away from Sebastian Vettel. He's doing the standard Sebastian Vettel Red Bull thing and he's just streaking away. But um, I have to try and catch him, I have to, he is my rifle, I need to try and get this Red Bull drive. That's why, you know, I don't want to say it's going to be a disappointing season next year, um, next season, sorry. Um, but, um, you know, I, I would like to go to Red Bull. I've had enough of this Mercedes, really, honestly. Um, it's, I'm not, not knocking Mercedes or anything. I just don't like the look of this car. hate driving the car in terms of, like, every time I just look down that ugly, ugly nose. It's just like, oh, God. And uh, the noise of, the, of this engine is a bit weird. I've got to say, this Mercedes engine on the, on the works Mercedes is very, very strange. It sounds a lot different on the McLaren. And the Red Bull Renault, uh, the Renault engine, just sounds like a treat. And I must say, just Red Bull just looks, as a whole, very enticing prospect, if I can get it. And I'm going down the inside, squeezing Kobayashi out, and that was, a, I think, quite a good move there from me. Just being a bit opportunistic, and now we're up to sixth. Weber is in our sights, so we are catching the guys in front. We have got the pace on these option tie on uh, these option tyres, the super softs, because it is a street race. So I can't remember exactly when I set the 
primes uh, to pit. I think it might be lap six or lap seven. So uh, we're catching Weber. We're actually we're caught him quite a lot in that just small little uh, chicane, a uh, high-speed chicane section. So it's looking like a good race right now. Um, it's not been an amazing one in terms of overtakes right now, but it has been a solid race. We've been overtaking quite quietly, getting a few places here, and we're gonna. This might be, uh, you know, you never know. We're gonna try and go for the win. Oh God, spawn there a bit. Um, this might be quite like a silent win, if you know what I mean. Sort of like those ones that you never kind of quite see coming. Sort of like, not. Uh, what's a good example? Sort of, well. Um, I could say Jensen Button at Canada in uh, 2011, but that wasn't sort of silent, was it? Everyone, uh, Martin Bonner was going on, oh, he's uh, overtaking everyone, he's got blah, 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 blah. And uh, <laughs> that was a beastly drive from him. Um, but, um, yeah, I was, I was trying to compare this drive to that, but it really isn't. So I'm not, I'm not starting 24th. So I think I should shut up now before I uh, dig myself a hole. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm 16th now, so it looks very disastrous right now, but we are on the primes now, and we're going to catch them up. We're going to undercut all of them. So, looking good. Now, this awkward pit exit. I really hate this pit exit. You lose a lot of time compared to the AI going through this section because you have to go so slowly. And, obviously, you get a penalty across the white line now, which is um, obviously realistic and all, but it's a bit frustrating sometimes when you have to slow right down to uh, get through the pit. But um, there we go. So, uh, 16th, Senna's in front of us. So uh, let's go, go, go and try and catch Senna, hopefully before he pits. If we do catch him before he pits, I think we're in a good position. So, coming through now. So uh, at the moment, the championship is looking like this, guys. Just want to update you, uh, Lewis Hamilton is in first right now. He's got about 40 points to me, I think it is. Really, I don't think there's any chance of catching him. Really, um, he's just run away with it. He's been doing some really great driving this season. He's won about six races this season, I think. So um, really, my main goals, as I said many times before, trying to defeat Sebastian Vettel to get a Red Bull drive. And then hopefully that will uh, be the foundation of what should be a beastly second season. It's been a really enjoyable first season so far. We've still got about six races, so I can't really talk about the season as a whole yet. But it has been a really enjoyable one so far. And, uh, you know, if we do get a Red Bull drive, season two will be even mega. Because we'll be able to fight for the title, hopefully. And uh, next season, in a, if, if I do get a Red Bull drive... Um, I will be changing it up to Legendary difficulty. Um, I haven't changed it to Legendary right now. It's simple fact that a lot of people have said this also, other YouTubers, that um, the Legendary difficulty, there is a massive dramatic change, about three and a half seconds up to on some circuits in terms of the difference. So really, um, I'm only probably about a second faster at some circuits, some of my favourite circuits right now on professional. So, uh, in a re I, I definitely know in the, if I'm in a top three car, I can challenge the AI on Legendary. So uh, I'm definitely going to be changing to Legendary uh, next season. But for now, we keep on professional. And uh, as I'm talking, we've undercut everyone, and we're near Button now. I really don't know how that's happened. I'm, I'm behind Button. I think Button was about third or something like that. And Alonso's behind me. I've got DRS here, cursing it, and I'm going to overtake him now, going down the inside. And that was a very nice overtake. And. Look who's in front of us, Sebastian Vettel. Come on, let's have him. Let's have him. Sebastian Vettel's in front of us. So that means, does that mean the theoretically we're set in second place right now? If all the pit stops filtered through, if Vettel was first, then surely we're second right now. So it's looking really good for an act. I, I, I was just kind of being optimistic at the beginning, saying we have to try and win this. I really didn't think we could, but it's like it's just a surprising. Spark in performance and that undercut as well was beastly, and we sort of we've got we've got it in our hands right now. We we just needed to try and catch Vettel. Hopefully, he doesn't have more pace than us. Uh, we should be about the same. I think in Q2, looking at the Q2 times, it was um pretty much I was pretty I was faster in Q2 than the Red Bulls, but Vettel was still right there. So we'll have to see in terms of race pace. But I think I think we've got him. Visually, he is getting a bit closer. And on the mini map, he's definitely getting closer. So we're coming through to the end of lap seven, lap eight. We've got seven laps left. Let's really go for it and try and catch Weber. Uh, Weber, not Weber. Uh, Vettel, sorry. How do I mix those names up? So we're coming through and we're gonna uh, overtake all these guys into the pits. So let's see where we end up. We've got two cars coming right out of the pits here. 
breaking on, and one's going to be side by side with me, but I will overtake him nicely, and yes, I'm into second. I'm into second, the beastliest on the cart in the world. Oh god, Bond's right there. Um, beastliest on the cart in the world, and all the way up to second from sixth, was it? And Button's going to be a DRS zone, so I'm going to use half my curse here. And uh, looking at the minimap, is he going to overtake me? I can hear the McLaren engine. He's right there. But I stay with it, I defend. And he's right there up my gearbox, but I'm catching Vettel. Vettel's only four seconds ahead of me, but Button's only two tenths behind me. He's really sniffing around my back, and he is trying to overtake me. I will not. I will try and defend as hard as I can, and uh, really I need to, because I need to try and catch Vettel. So really, the ideal thing is to just speed up. Oh god, bit of a slide there, tire screeching going through this section now. Coming through, coming to try and catch... Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Mind my la sorry, mind my language, but what the hell? Reversing, reversing. Penalty, why? Come through, oh god, I hit someone else. Why did I get a penalty for that? I, I, I hit the barrier, and I didn't even hit the barrier wrong. I, I was literally just driving through normally, and it was like I hit an invi- Like, it's, it's as if there was something I couldn't see, like an invisible wall that just- spun me round oh that's just stupid my front wings off I spun round I was reversing out of the way of the AI and I get a penalty for that that is utter bullshit my my language again sorry but that is utter bullshit seriously what the hell I got a penalty for reversing kindly out of the way of Alonso and everyone and then okay fair enough I get the second penalty for crashing into someone I think it was Kobayashi I didn't really know he was there fair enough but why two penalties? That's just ruining my that's ruined my way, my race. Gonna change the option tires, we've got six laps left. Mother oh God, that has ruined our race. Oh, I'm so frustrated now, that has ruined our race. I'm sorry, that is just a load of ball crap. That is the that was just um, I don't, fair enough, the second penalty, all well and done. I, I crashed into the guy, Kobayashi. Um, but that first penalty, what the hell? I reverse cleanly out of the way. Uh, that's that's the first thing that has pissed me off in this game. I'm being honest here, the first, the only thing that has pissed me off in this game so far is just that moment. What the hell? I have. Everyone's been complaining about penalties. I haven't actually had any sort of penalty, you know, frustrations up until now. That was just stupid. I reversed kindly out of the way of everyone, and I got a penalty for that. What was I meant to do? They wanted me to reverse faster? I can't reverse faster. These are F1 cars. The, the reverse gear is only there for emergencies. And it doesn't go that fast. You can only reverse maybe up to like 20 miles per hour. That's just stupid. So I've had to pit for option tyres to fix my uh, front wing that I uh, got locked off. Here's the section. I'm going to be really careful now. What the hell? Just here looking on the right. Just there. I just spun it and randomly lost my front wing. So now I'm going to have to go for our first penalty for uh, something I believe didn't happen. Nothing happened for this first penalty. So that's a bit stupid. Yes, yes. Penalty reminder. Stop annoying me. Flashing in my face. Piss off. I know we have to do a penalty. And then we're going to have to go in lap 10 and do a penalty as well. Oh, just ruined. Has ruined my race. Completely. Oh, so frustrating. That is so frustrating. Now, Vettel is going to win the race. I don't know where that puts him, but that's not going to be good for me. It's going to be 1-1 in the rivalry standings, and uh, that is not good. So, we're going through for our first penalty here. Oh, God. Nearly spun there. Coming in for the first penalty. The bullcrap penalty, which I don't think we should have. Oh, this is just depressing. Oh, God, this is deadly slow. Come on. Finally. All right, coming through to the pit exit. And we're going to have to make it a fast lap because we're going to have to go for the pits again. For another excruciating penalty, which I think we deserve that second one, but definitely that first one was unjust. So we're going to have to go fast now and uh, try and uh, make some time up until our next penalty. 
So, I don't know if uh, any of you guys were uh, expecting a really joyous, great race up until the end, but um, it looks like it's been ruined. <laughs> oh god, it was all looking so great. It was going to be a great ending, and then it, the game just had to screw me over and make it a bit of a boring one at the end. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are still with me in this video, and if you are, give it a like show your beastliness at staying with me in this video and uh, going through. You guys are the hardcore fans, you guys are the beasts, the ones that watch the whole video till the end. So, lap 10. Hamilton set the fastest lap and um, you can see on the mini-map, look at the cars, they're, they're like nearly half a lap in front of me. And uh, I've got some cars behind me in near distance so probably I'll come out behind them once I uh, penalty I have my penalty, so oh crap, nearly spawned there. So I'm gonna have to try and overtake the likes of uh, De La Rosa there behind me, and probably Kovalainen and some people like that want to come out of the pits. And um, that's gonna be pathetic. But uh, 14th place right now. If I can get a 14th place back, um, it's it's very disappointing seeing where I was. I was second, but still, 14th place after two penalties is not too bad if I can get it back. So another very slow I'm not even gonna talk now, just Hurry up. Oh my god. And there we go, three cars have passed us and that was deadly slow again. Coming through Kovalainen is right there. So guys, this is where I'm gonna cut the video Basically, I'm going to cut it to just the last part of the last lap here now. Lap 15, we're just ending the lap 15 now. I've caught, I caught up those three cars, and I'm back to 13th because actually someone crashed out. So I'm 13th now. Sebastian Vettel has won the race. My rival has won the race. There's 1-1 one, one in the rivalry standings right now. 13th, very disappointing since I was in second. We're coming through, and there we go. Very dismal end to the race. But um, it, it was just one of those days. It wasn't meant to be. Very disappointing, but this is yet another down in the rocky roller coaster of our debut season. Still, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. It was a very good race up until that penalty, which I really thought was bull crap. But there you go, Sebastian Vettel's won the race. That's going to have big implications for the title in terms of uh, me and him. Definitely not for Hamilton. I, I really maintain that Hamilton will win this season. There we go. Hamilton's 56 points away from me. There's no real point in me looking at that every race, really bit of a random, you know, Hamilton's basically won it, and uh, Vettel is only, uh, what's that, nine points behind me, so really, really, it's really close, really tight, it's, we're going to have to really pick up the pace and definitely outscore Vettel if we had to keep ahead of him, um, but I keep on going on about points, really, it's just about being, being him uh, three times more, and in the Constructors, Mercedes, fifth place, we're three points behind Toro Rosso, so in the next race, hopefully we can overtake them. That's my job for Mercedes done. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. I've been Anova. Tune in tomorrow for two videos, the qualifying and the race video of the Japanese Grand Prix. And again, I've been Anova. I hope you enjoyed the episode and enjoy the rest of the day and maybe give the video a like for double uploads today.